Hey, what's up? This is Mick, and you're listening to Piedmont Artist Profiles on Snow Peak Radio. <laughs> It goes uh <laughs> Hello and welcome to Piedmont Artist Profiles. I'm your guest host, Shoni Lamar. And tonight for a different thing, we're going to be interviewing Mick, who is our guest guest. Mick, <laughs> say hi to everybody. What's up, folks? Um so this is Mick's show. Um, he's duct taped to the chair right now. Uh, I, I took I took the bandana out of his mouth for this interview. Um, but let's uh, let's just dive dive right into it, right? Yeah, uh, let's do it. Okay, so let's talk about what we're doing here with Piedmont Artist Profiles. Well, so I started this um, because I, I got out of NASCAR to have more spare time, and then I found that spare time doesn't suit me. So I found a hobby, and I've always liked talk radio, and I love the arts, and uh, it's kind of the avenue I I went down and started interviewing local artists and trying to get the message of local art and uh, art patronage out there to to people. Yeah, so the the whole impetus was time Mm -hmm. needed to be used better, and... You know, you were seeing all these great artists yeah, around and like wanted to yeah, but get exposure. Basically, my exposure to it was, um, or, or what kind of turned me on to it was going to shows and hearing great music and not seeing enough people out at it. No doubt. And kind of wondering, hey, where, are, where are they? I mean, the Charlotte area, I think the greater Charlotte area has 2.6 million people in it. Um, so why are, why are they empty? Are the venues empty? So... I started digging and trying to find local artists, and um, it's not as easy as, as it probably should be. But once you know the spots to look for, you you uncover so many bands. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to kind of help be a voice and a bridge to to bring artists to people that maybe they weren't necessarily going to just stumble across uh, as fans. So... Um First off, as a local artist, I really appreciate what <laughs> you're sure. doing, and uh, I think everybody else does too. Um, uh, so you're talking about those spots. What are those spots that you go to to find the really good stuff? The well, I love open mics. Um, some of the best open mics around here are up in the uh, up where I'm at. They're up in the the Canapolis Concord area, and Cornelius has a great one. Studio 13. Davidson has one at uh, Summit Coffee, and then Canapolis has the. Um, Wired Express, they got one at Copper Ale House, they're everywhere. So I, I love open mics, first and foremost. Wired Express is definitely my favorite. Yeah. Well, I, it's actually a Thai Evening Muse. Right. Have you been down there yet? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, I love yeah. the Evening Muse. That, that open mic is, is killer. Um, so Plus, you can walk to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to Wired Express. I can stumble back usually. Perfect. Um, yeah, the Muse also has one of the best. I mean, it's hard to say this is the best. Yeah, best, open best. Mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, but but it's what I really do like into. about the Charlotte scene is that that you go to an open mic and it's not just necessarily a comedy open mic or a or a music open mic. All it's, are welcome. It's got like a whole eclectic Poetry, mix. Yeah, yeah. But there's po- spoken word. There's usually someone doing a live painting on the side, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's a sense of community. So I like I like uh, hanging out at open mics for sure. But then on top of that. <clears throat> I've been to shows uh, at the Visual Light that, with great local bands and uh, empty seats, and that's what I don't understand either. Because the the bands are doing all the right things to promote themselves. They're doing the Facebook shares. They're doing the things that they should have to do or should do. Um, and I don't know where the disconnect is. I don't know. I can't figure out why people say they're going to go to a thing. Why do they back out? And that's kind of the question: is what what made that less important than whatever else they ended up doing. You know, it's it's hard like as as a local artist, it's hard to I feel that frustration like firsthand, well, you know, yeah, like sure. you, you, I mean, you as an audience member, that's that's amazing that you feel that way. Yeah. Uh, but it's hard to say. Like I, I I don't know like like what what I have to do uh-huh. to get people to come out to a show. Like I really don't know. It's part of what's so cool cuz you know, we holler at 
fucking I shouldn't even say the name, but whatever, creative loafing. Mm -hmm. We holler at these like local zines. That's what I should have just said. We'll edit that out. But really, write us up. Um, like they don't, they don't like respond to us trying to get ads right. at all. You know, so like what we have to do and what it feels like you're doing is uh, like push forward as people, like lower, because mm -hmm. it's so much easier. We got internet. And, and whatnot right so like yeah and that's kind of what I want to grow this whole thing into is um, one stop shop for local artists and fans and venue owners and everybody to to get together as a community and, and just keep it going yeah I really like how you're making it like just here in community and yeah. you know if fucking Guar reached out to you you'd be like no no, I'm going to interview. Yeah, well, in full honesty, if Guar reached out to me, of all bands, if Guar reached out to me, I wouldn't air it. I'd never put it up as an episode, but I'd fucking let him You get a pass. Guar. You get a pass. I what, love Guar. What man. do they call that when you're in a relationship and like, Like you a know, hall pass? A hall pass is Yeah, honest. there's two bands that I would hall pass for. That would be uh, Pearl Jam and Guar. <laughs> that probably tells you a lot about my <laughs> musical quite, taste. <laughs> that's actually quite a range. That's quite a range. <laughs> um, so, speaking of growth... Uh, Something going on on the web soon? Yeah, so what we're what we're working this into, um, I'm putting a team together of, of people that that want to contribute to this, and, and my vision is for this to turn into sort of a magazine, um, not necessarily print per se, but I don't know any other way to put it. So, uh, an app and a website where you can find local artists, you can find local music, spoken word, you'll find blogs um, written by people that are in the art scene for the most part. Um, I'm one of them. Yeah. Shoney, Full disclosure. Full disclosure. Shoney will be a writer. I've got Shane Manier down to do it. Who uh, is an amazing person. For sure. Uh, Ade Herbert's uh, written some pieces for me. And actually, just asking around, I've gotten a great response for people to, to come do this. So <clears throat> I'm working on building a website. Um, I'm just learning WordPress. So if there's anyone listening to this who's a great web designer, it's probably the thing that's taking me the most time is just learning. So Holler. Yeah. Anyway, so website, app, so you can just click on an icon on your phone, and, and even if, if we can get it fancy enough and, and find the funds for it, it would use your location and, hey, this is who's near you. You know, Lisa DeNovo is right there, and you can go across the street, and Matt Minshew's playing over here, and, and it's just right there on your phone. I think that that's the best way to get people to read it, even if it's just reading the, the website. I mean, it's such a good, such a great idea. I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah, I, I appreciate you being a part of it. We got a, uh, it's like a launch date or I, like I a goal at least. Like, the, uh, the goal right now is to launch the website. Um, I think I think I had uh, the end of October in my little plan. Yeah, cool. so so we're looking like at a September 31st release date for the website to go live. The app will take um, who knows how long. Honestly, uh, writing an app seems to be really expensive, and it's not something I'm trying to learn. Uh, but I know it can be done, and uh, so we're, we're going to take care of that. The blogs are already up, and the podcast obviously is already going. And but right now, it's kind of just disjointed. Like my blogs are over at Blogger, or my podcasts are at Libsyn. Uh, let's, uh, tell tell people where they can find find, uh, find your stuff. I honestly don't even know the address to the blogger site because okay. it's one of those. It's like this. Dot but we this, can search. Uh, yeah, yeah. If for you, the name, if you search Piedmont Artist Profile Files uh, Blogger, I need a recording sign. <laughs> My wife just walked through. What were we talking about? Uh, how people? How can people find, find your stuff? Piedmont Artist Profiles dot dot com. The blogger. I really don't know. The blogger address, just Google. Just search it. Artist profile blogger, or just go to the Facebook page and scroll through the timeline. But starting, hopefully, at the end of September, uh, you'll be able to go to PiedmontArtistProfiles.com, and there you will find a beautifully laid out website full of all sorts of content. And uh, nice. I'd like to some other areas of growth. We want to start streaming live shows. I want to do these podcasts live on Mixler. Um, when the website's launched, then you can find a, um, a player on the website for that. So you'd be listening to the live version of the podcast. You get pretty much all the bullshit um, that you're not going to get in the regular one because we cut it out. And uh, most of that's <laughs> to just have some sort of discretion. But if you listen to the live feed, you're going to hear the live feed. And um, we, we got to be on point. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can we can be loose cannons. And uh also want to work our way into doing videos um in studio, but then then also studio like um videos of events, live stuff, live stuff and and we'll see where that goes. That's a bit expensive to do. Um So speaking of expenses, yeah. Yeah. Are we doing a GoFundMe or I anything? Do plan, I, do, I know you're looking for partners or, or money. You're looking for money. I need money. Well, yeah, kind of. I, mean, it's, I can fund this for a while, and I'll fund it as long as I can. I'm not going to let it die. But to really get to where we need to go, we need to do some some fundraising, and that's why uh, I haven't decided which platform. There's a lot of crowdfunding out there. There's Indiegogo and, and all that. So about the time the website launches, look for uh, – a crowdfunding campaign to start. We need to raise, uh, it's not a lot of money. Um, I, I think the goal is going to be right around 1500 to 3000. And that's to get enough equipment that, um, like right now I can cover one story. I really don't have the assets to do more than one audio story at a time. Uh, we tried to do it a couple weeks ago with me going to the groove and the madness. And then a day went to record a day at her performance at tiny stage. And it just, we were, didn't have the resources to do either thing perfectly uh so we need some uh, more recorders and microphones and uh, things like that so bottom line i'm talking to the people not mick if you got some money right now and you're with all this shit that we're talking about growing the local community of arts and supporting it um holler at mick (laughs) um He's about to tell you how to do it, but you should definitely do it. If you're one of those people that just has money, this is a a, a good cause. Uh, my man's trying to do a good thing. Yeah. Um, so you can reach out to him. Uh, you can direct. The, the best way to get a hold of me is through Facebook Messenger. So uh, go to the Piedmont Artist Profile Facebook page and send me a direct message there. And uh, we'll be in contact uh, the as far as actual fundraising goes, like I said, that won't be probably till the end of September. I want to put together a nice looking uh, video and everything to to do that. And um, yeah, but I mean, you know, we'd always love to have sponsors for the show. Uh, we we got we have pretty good numbers and we have growing numbers. Every episode gets more downloads than the one before. And uh, you know, any support we can we can get would really help make this thing bigger. And I think once it starts going and once it snowballs and people see some of the other plans we have and some of the other ideas we got going on that I'm just not really really ready to talk about quite yet. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good for everybody, and it'll be, um, I think it'll be fun. It could be a fun ride. All right, thanks for listening. Uh, Thank you to Shoney for doing that. That was actually his idea. And I hope you enjoyed it and are as excited about the things we got coming up as we are. Um, actually, since recording that, the website is up, PiedmontArtistProfiles.com. Uh, you can check it out. It's live. Uh, there's going to be some changes to it in the next few weeks as I get everything set up. And uh, we go have a look-see and enjoy some blogs there, all the podcast episodes, and all of those great things. Next up will be an episode with the folks from uh, Mandy Land Entertainment as they prepare for their annual masquerade. And then we'll have uh, some short interview song pairings coming out pretty soon here. Those are from the artists from the Groove in the Madness Festival. I recorded those about a month ago, I guess. And uh, don't forget to hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app and uh, tell your friends to do likewise. Again, check out the uh, website. I'm I'm kind of proud of it. PiedmontArtistProfiles.com. Oh, and uh, leave us a review um, on the podcast apps or leave us comments on the website. All of that helps. Um, and uh, lets us know if we're doing a good job or if anyone's even listening. So uh, anyway, thanks again. Peace.